welcome back to the channel guys so today we're going to be talking about factory issue reflashing so stay tuned all right so today i am in my 2009 subaru fgt um this would be equivalent to the us version of the wrx the 2009 wrx the only difference is ours comes with a two liter engine slightly higher compression and a twin scroll turbo um, but for the most part they make about the same horsepower so is you reflashing why would you want to do it um well for the most part not all tunes are made the same what I mean by that is the factory, the manufacturer for most cars, for today we're gonna to be talking about Subaru anyways, is that they make a tune for one car, which is the Subaru WRX. And for the most part, that tune is supposed to be a one size fits all. So that tune is supposed to run in almost every single climate, on almost every single fuel, for the most part anyways. and. It is supposed to start, run and drive and the end user should not even notice that the car is struggling by any means. So, but in our case, Japanese domestic market and in most cases, the car may need to be tweaked for what you intend to use it for. So in my case, and the case for most cars is that Subaru tend to knock very easily. High compression motor in this one, Japanese domestic market, tuned for higher octane fuel, that is a recipe for disaster for our cars anyway. So what I did, what I noticed anyways, was that our tune, the car was just not behaving right. So what I did, I went ahead and I, I recalibrated it for our fuel, which is 91 octane. And I believe what they get in Japan is closer to 100. So it was knocking pretty bad from factory. Another reason you may want to have your factory ECU reflash is maybe you've added some aftermarket parts to your engine. So maybe you've changed the intercooler added a different intake maybe even change the turbo and injectors the factory ecu is calibrated for just a stock setup and when you start changing parts you need to retune for that also right so to do this you're going to need a few pieces of software so the first things first is ecu flash now ecu flash is a piece of software which you use to basically pull the the rom the tune from the ecu you can edit it and use it to reflash it back to the ecu so when you pull it here ecu flash does all the hard work in the background it's doing the work so that you can actually get tables that you can actually understand so for instance let's pull up this one target boost so we can see on the y-axis we have rpm on the x-axis we have load this is not really important to for you to memorize right now but in here we have the target boost that the ecu is trying to achieve right so ecu flash you're gonna ad adjust these if you know what you're doing anyways and a bunch of other stuff for fuel spark timing and everything right when you do that you flash it back to the ecu now the thing about factory factory ecu reflashing as opposed to standalone ecus is that most on most standalone ecus if not all you can just make changes live to the ecu whilst the car is running with factory ecu you usually have to switch off write the changes to the car restart the car drive data log then look at the data see if you closer or farther from your target make changes and rinse and repeat right. okay for data login, I used another piece of software called ROM Raider. And all of these softwares are free to use. Um, with ROM Raider, you can pretty much data log almost every single thing that the ECU is seeing or monitoring. So you can monitor air fuel ratios from the wideband sensors, coolant temperature, engine speed, knock, airflow, throttle position, vehicle speed, every single piece of information. You can use ROM Raider too capture that into a log and then i then upload that log to mega log viewer which is a separate piece of software or oh, there are many ways you can view the data from this software right so why would i want to do this to this car what are the gains well for most cars some different than others there are big gains there are small gains in my car um from the factory i use virtual dyno you can look up what that is it's basically just a piece of software which mimics the results that you may get on a dyno usually very accurate and with the completely factory tune the car was driving very horribly because it was pulling timing and whatnot since it was picking up knock on our poor fuel and the car made 
about 183 horsepower and then I'll put the graph up now as to what it actually made after a reflash. Alright, so we can see at least almost 50 wheel horsepower gains at almost equal torque gain from just a basic reflash. So in this one, I cleaned up the fuel, I cleaned up the spark so it's not knocking anymore and the boost increased by about a pound to two pounds in various spots. And the car drives so much better. So a few folks have been asking me, do I plan to offer it as a service? Yes, I do. I'm still working out the details as to how exactly I want to do it remotely for folks, maybe via email or whatnot, but it should be up on the site very soon, right? But I'll probably make another video showing you guys exactly more um, information and details as to how we would I would have you go about getting the data that I need since I won't be in the car with you but we'll cover that in the next video that's pretty much gonna wrap it up so um, again future videos gonna give you more updates until then stay safe guys